Aloha, hi AD, welcome in, come inside. So this is my formal living room. I feel like it represents a lot of like Bretman Rock. Random, it's very colorful, and it's very gay, duh. I'm obviously from Hawaii, but I am Filipino, so I have a lot of like local pieces in this room. And I also have a bunch of like Filipino pieces in this room. This is my live terrarium out here. I feel like it's just like a piece of nature in my house and I don't know, like staring at it is so therapeutic and I love it so much. It's definitely my favorite piece in my formal living room. And you already know, you recognize the name, it's the baddest. I also love the fireplace. I feel like fireplaces are really kind of rare to see in Hawaii because no one really has, like we don't have fireplaces here. And my favorite um, chair in, out of like my whole entire house is this bloom chair from Kenneth. He is a Filipino designer and it's called a blooming chair because it's supposed to resemble a flower. But let's be real, y'all know what it resembles to me. So it's very comfortable actually. And I don't know, I just feel like it's so sexual and so Bretman Rock. Over here is kind of like a photo op moment. This is designed and made by a local artist. It also reminds me so much of like my MTV show because of this chair. And honestly, I just like sitting here sometimes and like admiring my house, like wow. And of course, we can't forget a chair for my little niece, Cleo. This is for her. Um, I also collect a lot of crystals. You guys will see them all throughout my house. I love crystals. I'm pretty sure this is heat-treated selenite. Not selenite, um, celestite. B I don't know what the fuck it's called, but it's orange and I love it. My office is kind of like a mess, but like a hot mess. So it's very much like me. When I am working on something, I like to surround myself with what I'm working on. And so that's why I have all of my Crocs in here. I also do a bunch of like my gaming over here, YouTube stuff, and a lot of like my achievements are also here because I like to remind myself that I'm a bad <laughs> What I'm most proud of in this room would probably be this award, it is the E! People's Choice Award Beauty Influencer of the Year. The reason why I'm so proud of this is because a couple of days before I received this award, my dad passed and um, I almost did not want to take the flight to accept this award, but I just felt like I had to and my dad would have probably wanted me to go there and accept my award and to be honest, I felt his presence that day. I feel like just this award itself is not just for me but it's also for like my parents and their like dreams and aspirations of me when I was a kid, so yeah. I have like non-makeup stuff in here that I've worked on as well, like this What Do You Mean set. Obviously, she's a James Campbell High School grad, you already know. Um, I don't really do much in here besides like work. So it's pretty boring. So this is my formal dining room. My favorite piece in this dining room is probably this butt chair. I was very fortunate enough to work with a brilliant team of designers and they are called the MCYIA. I love that they captured how weird I am and they basically captured like my personality in my house and I love that the most. Another thing that I really love is this wallpaper that we chose. When I moved to America, I was not, I couldn't read that well like most other kids. And one of the first books that I read is Where the Wild Things Are. And it just reminds me so much of like moving to America and my love for like reading. I don't know, doesn't it remind you of the world or where the wild things are? This is my chandelier over here. It is from Restoration Hardware. I love it. It kind of reminds me of the Philippines and like just the things that I grew up around. I know that's so dramatic, but like this dining room just reminds me so much of like moving to America and being an immigrant kid and like, yeah, it's crazy. And also the touches are like me, cause I'm extra as hell. Welcome to my kitchen. This is where I pretend that I know how to cook. To be honest, I mainly here to like microwave things, but when I am hanging out with my friends and when my family is over, this is really where we hang, especially my mom. This is 
her space. She's always cooking something. Even I don't even know where she gets half the food that she's cooking. This side is my breakfast nook. I would be lying to you if I say I actually eat my breakfast over here, but it's just such a nice thing to look at. I love these light bulbs. Doesn't it look like an art piece? Like I love it. Over here is my living room, living room. Not my formal living room, but my living room, living room. I have this small collection of like vinyls over here, a vinyl player, me and Cleo, and we have more crystals. The TV, more crystals, and Miss Britney Spears. So believe it or not, ever since the fifth grade, my email has always been britneyspears at gmail.com. Yes, Britney Spears. We love Miss Britney in this household. Hashtag free Britney. I grew up around nature my whole entire life. Um, it's probably the reason why I would never move to the city like LA or like New York. There's ocean and mountain view. Like, what more could you ask for? So let's head upstairs. So when people ask me what I do, I often just show them this. I'm a singer, songwriter, actor, actress, athlete, activist, a scientist on the mother side. That's what I do. Another thing that my designers helped me source out are these local paintings. I love supporting local artists. Obviously, we have this. This is actually me as the girl with the pearl earrings when I was promoting my new sunglass collection. And someone did a painting of it and I just love it so much. Sometimes I just like to um, get litty and like walk around in here and pretend like I have my own museum at home. My favorite one is this turtle right here. I'm a big advocate for saving turtles because without my turtles, we wouldn't have turtles. Please don't use plastic straws because do you want this bitch to die? No, you don't. Another painting in this house that I really enjoy is this painting of my niece, Cleo and I. It's kind of like the colors of my house right now, so I thought it would look really perfect here. As you could probably see, my niece got a hold of the chalk. I'm glad that I have a house now where I could let like my nieces and my nephews just draw whatever they want on the wall. Because I want Cleo to know that like I appreciate these like little drawings that she makes of me, even though she says that this is me. Rude. This is my attic. I like to call it my Brett man cave, you know? You get it. This is the hangout spot for like my friends and I. My favorite pieces in this room are these mahjong sets. And I wanna collect all of them. They're so hard to find. I actually prefer sleeping here. So when, you got, when, I, when I show you guys my room, just know that I do not sleep in there. I sleep in here. It's so comfy. It's so comfy. I also like to journal over here. You might notice these little paintings of like iconic people. This one is Mr. Freddie Mercury. I love Freddie Mercury. I also have Mr. Einstein over here. Science is my favorite subject ever since I was a kid, and which is the reason why I have a science corner over here where I film my science videos. I just like to collect like trinkets and like small things. Like this is from a show that I am currently working on, like these pieces right here. I have like this really powerful crystal over here called the Moldavite. We love her. It's kind of like my science studio, I guess. Love this room. We have all these bean, bean bags as well that are very much comfortable. Oh my gosh, you could literally sink in here and just stay here all day, which is what I do all the time. I just sit here, literally. I like to call this my manifesting tower. A lot of like my crystals are over here. And whenever I'm manifesting or journaling, I like to stay in this room because of like all the energy. I don't know if you could feel the energy through the video right now, but I'm sending you some. This is my beauty room. If you guys watch my YouTube channel, you guys probably seen this room. I love this room so much. Obviously, I'm known for being the most beautiful person in this world. No one has ever said that, just I think that. This room is just a cute reminder of where I started. I started off in makeup, obviously. And now I literally have Sephora in my house. These curtains remind me of Sephora because girl, when I was younger, I literally would go to Sephora and just think to myself like how cool it would be to get so much makeup and to own 
makeup because at the time like I could barely afford anything and I don't know it's just like such a cute reminder of why I even started um, social media and everything in between so this is my wig wall I have 30 plus wigs it does get creepy whenever I'm doing my makeup by myself because I feel like I'm being judged by 30 f girls but also I'm prettier than half of these so I don't give a f what y'all think about me but yeah this is my wig wall so over here, we have my closet slash fitting room. You'll see later my other closet, but this is kind of just where I store a lot of my clothes. And my favorite thing about this is this moment right here. This is not my everyday closet. This is kind of just like my extra room. So I put all of my extra clothes in here. And it's also such a cute fitting room. It's just so homey. And I always find new clothes. Even though I use this as my storage, I find clothes all the time in here that I forgot I had. So such a cute closet. Really quickly, I'm gonna take you guys into the Bretman Rock production room. So this is where I produce a lot of like my YouTube videos and like videos in general. I also do a lot of like my Zoom meetings in here. We installed like these audio um, pads. So yeah, not only do I hear myself, I hear my own thoughts in this room. So this is my infamous green wall. I literally could be in the jungle. I could be at the beach. I could even be in space. You know, one small step for human and a giant step for bad Yeah. So now I'm gonna take you guys outside. So welcome to my patio, you guys. I have this chair right here. I love it. These are like outdoor chairs. It do rain a lot where I live. I also have this floating chair right here. I also have another Kenneth piece right here. I don't know, I feel like I'm in the embryo and I feel like a fetus again when I'm here. That's like literally the worst comparison ever, but that's honestly how I feel over here. I also have this cactus garden over here, which is not really all my cactus, but we have my plants in here as well. It gets a lot of sun, so I like to put sun-loving plants out here. My favorite part about living in Hawaii is just the energy of like living here. Obviously, there's so many mountains around the world, but I just feel like Hawaii mountains just hit different. It's just such a magical state. It's such a magical place to live in. I feel like I really could not see myself thriving anywhere else around the world. It, it will forever be my home. And I just love it because people treat me like a normal person over here. Another thing that's like really magical about this place is that it just sounds like nature at all times. Like, see? See, I speak birds and they said, that's right. Over here, we have my third living room. I don't know why anyone needs three living rooms, but I do. And this one is kind of like my gaming room, basically. Um, we play a lot of games over here. We do a lot of Switch tournaments. These are probably one of the most comfortable couches I've ever sat on my entire life. These are called the Togo sofas. Um, this yellow is everything. A lot of my nieces hang out over here. This is like their room. I have another painting wall over here. This painting is my favorite painting ever. It's from Punky Aloha. I don't know, obviously I'm not her, but doesn't this picture make you wanna be her? This one's also really cute. She's sitting on a papaya bath and I love taking baths. We have my room over here. And we have my stripper pole over here, which wakes me up every morning. And I've always dreamt of having a stripper pole in my room. And so now I do. It's crazy. Like things that I used to think about when I was a kid is literally, my, it became my house. My favorite part about this room is this wallpaper that we chose. It just ties this room together so well. Also these sheets, locally made, you already know the vibes. This is where I keep all of my everyday makeup. Upstairs is like all of my makeup and these are like my everyday makeup. I get ready here every morning, every day. I, I feel like I sound like a broken record, but open view, windows everywhere. 
Also, another fireplace over here that I never really use because Hawaii is so hot, but it's such a flex. Like, oh yeah, I have a fireplace, two of them. This is my bathroom right here. I get ready over here every day. I also take a lot of baths. And you know how I was talking to you guys earlier about my closet, my other closet, and like my favorite piece? Well, all of my favorite pieces are in this tiny ass closet. I'm working on extending it. And I am a big fan of like sunglasses. So sunglasses are over here. This is from my sunglass collection. I collect a lot of like designer bags. I'm definitely still working on this closet room. She's a hot mess. She's gonna be bigger the next time you see it. So I guess now I'm gonna take you guys into my front yard. A lot of people will argue that it's my backyard, but it's honestly my front yard. So now we are in my front yard. I have these lounge chairs over here and I have a fire pit right here as well which I love. And my favorite piece in here would probably be my succulent. We love this. It's definitely a statement piece. So over here is my outdoor lounge area. My family, when they come over, this is kind of where we eat most of the time. We have like this circular lounge area right here. But my favorite is this, and this is actually where I eat most of my meals. I like to eat my meals outside. I also am working on putting a bar in here. Right now, it's just a table, but eventually I'll have like a full bar. Speaking of like future projects, I am planning on putting a pool right in front over here. I'll probably get that done in the summer. I also love this avocado tree right here. She's um, she's actually producing new avocados for me. And so it's always cute. I love avocados. So now my dogs are out here to join us. Um, I do have a cute little like, mini farm in my house. I have four cats, two dogs, a bunch of fishes. And I'm probably gonna get like a bird sometime soon. This is Ella and then Tora. Tora. So this is Tora right here. This is Ella. Ella is a rescue and Tora is adopted. So love these two so much. And they just kind of like both fell into my life and I didn't even like really like train them. They just kind of are such good dogs. Like they really are. And they're just so fun and silly. Like Tora reminds me of a jelly bean. So yeah, that was my house. I love <laughs> so yeah, that was my house. I love having a place in Hawaii. I will always be a Hawaii boy. I'll always be an island boy. And just so blessed to be surrounded by nature and kind, nice, amazing people. There is one more thing that I forgot to show you guys, and it is my monster truck of a golf cart. Girl, getting the mail is a task, so... You need a golf cart. I hope you guys enjoyed my house. You are more than welcome to stay and enjoy the view. I am going to go grab my mail real quick. And I'll see you guys later. Aloha. Aloha.